On the agenda tonight, we're going to be having a listen to Macy Gray's monster hit, I Try, released back in 1999. <laughs> Hello, oh, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So this is going to be an interesting one tonight because the request that came in was asking me to take a look at Macy Gray and this song in particular with respect to her pitch and how accurate she was because they stated that to them it sounded like she wasn't hitting notes very accurately. So we're going to be having the pitch monitor up on screen as always and we'll dive in. Just in case you haven't seen one of these before, Macy's voice will be plotted on this chart as a yellow line and we have the notes along the left hand side. That's what the letters are. That's um, something that people have been asking about in the comment section. And from bottom to top is from lowest to highest so the higher the line goes up the higher the note is hopefully that makes sense let's jump into it games changes and fears when will they go from here when will they stop i believe that fate has brought us here and we should be too Okay, I'm just going to jump in here. As always, if you want to listen to the song without the isolated vocal being higher in the mix, that's something that I've done. You can go over to Macy Gray's official channel and listen to this song, but we're going to be focusing in on the vocal, hence why I've made the vocal louder. Interestingly, we have on the pitch monitoring software all the evidence here of being quite accurate pitch wise. I think a lot of Macy's sound and why you might get thrown off with this is the way that she ends vocal lines, just not holding vibrato and sometimes just allowing her voice to descend to a note that isn't specified. She'll just go down. She doesn't worry where that note, that line is ending up. But because of her vocal tone, it's so distinctive that you might have trouble placing where the notes are. But this is where it's great to look at the pitch monitoring software because we can have a look through and see exactly where these notes are falling. So let's go back to the beginning and listen again. Games, changes and fears. Already. Na, 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 na. We've got definite melody in there. And this is the thing about Macy's sound. It's... Ah, you're getting so much air and it's a combination of what sounds like air and rasp. Ah, kind of like that. So it means that rather than going ah, and getting a really clean vocal cord connection and therefore giving you a really clear idea of where the note is, the note is within this tone and this air that you're hearing. So this is why it might be difficult to place to begin with but what we can see on the pitch monitoring software the vibrato as well that she throws in there ah, it's like that it's subtle but you'll see these lines up and down that are quite wide we've got three semitones here over three semitones of that sound of the pitch changing but you might not notice it because of the air and her tone so we can see that if we're just going back to this D4, we are actually quite accurate. And then we come down again. You can see here, just sharp of the A3. And it might have been the case that she went down to the A3 here and then supplied that vibrato that went above the note. We can see that we go down to then the E3. So we've got definite melody here. And ironically, so far, Macy is really accurate pitch wise. Let's just listen to this again. When will they go from here? Yeah, there we go. Where will we go from here? And you hear that here. <laughs> I'm kind of taking out a lot of the air and the sound so you can hear the notes, but the melody sits in there. So let's dive into the pre chorus and see what happens here. I play it off, but I'm dreaming of you. So we've now got harmony vocals. Really interesting to hear the vocals isolated because if you're listening to this through headphones, you'll notice how 
We've got Macy's voice panned left, separate take. We've got Macy's voice panned right, separate vocal take. We've got Macy's voice in the middle, separate vocal take. So it means that we've got three takes of the vocal all being played back at the same time. Let's have a listen again. Don't let this melody fly under the radar. I'll play it off, but I'm dreaming of you. It's interesting as well, you get to hear the mix so clearly how those harmony vocals left and right are louder than that main vocal we've got straight down the middle. And when I'm talking about the harmony lines, you have got to be able to hit notes to sing a harmony line with a lead vocal line for that main vocal. So, na 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 and na 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 something like that a lot lower down with that main line you've got to be hitting pitches here if you start getting into the realms of harmonizing and you're not hitting notes and you're just throw away with those notes you can get away with that with a lead vocal with nothing behind it because you get the expression in there where <laughs> If you can imagine three voices all being throwaway and going na 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 and, and you've got another one doing the same kind of thing but a separate take and then the lead vocal going na 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 na, you, that's going to be an absolute mess. So don't underestimate how precise these vocals are by Macy in order to get the overall effect. Let's get back into it. And I'll keep my cool but I'm and there look at that line the d4 bang on if you're just looking at that line going through that phrase that macy sang dead on she went down to the b3 and had a bit of a brata but look where she started she went down and then came up and nailed the b3 and the a3 absolutely spot on as well and this was released in 1999 so this was too early to be an uh, adopter <laughs> of auto-tune and pitch correction and Macy isn't the kind of artist that would use that anyway. Super accurate with that lead in with the bridge. And now we've got the same vocal line being sung by Macy in these three positions and previously in that pre-chorus it was harmony lines and lead vocal let's listen to a bit more so we've got definite melody and you can see from the D4s here when we do pick up the pitch on the pitch monitoring software she's still bang on with these notes look at this going up to the G4 because we've got three separate takes going on that Macy has gone up to the mic sung the chorus where they've panned that left she's gone up to the mic again sung the chorus again they've panned that right she's gone up to the mic again and sang it for a third time and now it's panned in the middle <laughs> so it's a central covered by left and right that are going to be sounding different because they're all different takes so it means that we get that approximation of pitch between these three voices so that's why it might be hard to place as well but all of these voices are accurate she's hitting these pitches we can hear the melody but we'll get back into it we'll listen to a little bit more I may appear to be free but I'm just a prisoner little throwaway that line there with a the prisoner she doesn't really care where that's going and just look at this vibrato. Let me just take that back. She does it really quickly, but when I say quickly, she's not going ah, and, and speeding up her vibrato. I mean that she goes, ah, does that just one wobble, and we can literally see that here. She's gone down, up, down, and then stopped. Ah. It's just like that at the end of the lines, really subtle, but it's all part of her distinctive sound, why she sounds unique, because of these things that she does. She's not going, ah, and holding notes for a long time. Actually, mentioning about holding notes for a long time, I'd be interested to see 
if Macy ever holds a note for an extended period of time, considering her tone, her sound, her personality that she has in her voice being achieved with air. So going, ah. when you do that, and you can try and do that at home, <laughs> just get a note or any kind of sound, but put a lot of air through your vocal cords, you won't be able to hold this note because you're expelling all of your air going, ah. That's all you can do with that sound. If you connect the vocal cords and make it clean, you go, ah, you can keep that note going for a very long time. So it's just another interesting thing about her voice, how the phrases are short because of the technique and very much just the way that she sings. All your love. And I may seem all right and smile when you leave But my smile's up just up front Just up front Hey! And I play it off but I'm dreaming of you And I keep my cool but I'm feeling I try to say goodbye and I choke yeah. Try to walk away and I stumble Though I try to hide it, it's clear My world crumbles when you are not near Also, that line there Na 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 <laughs> I'm going to try and pick out those notes Because that's actually technically quite difficult clear. My world crumbles when you are Will crumbles when you are not, when you are not. Getting those notes, na 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 na. That isn't just a normal scale that you'd sing through that you'd practice a lot. She's picking out these notes really accurately. I think a lot of people watching this video, now that we're listening to the isolated vocal, are hearing this in a totally different way because you can appreciate the accuracy that Macy is showing us here, hitting the notes as she descends in this chorus, she's so good at picking out this melody and doing it really accurately. And now we've got na 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 na, just a little bit of stylizations with a slide. I'll take that back because you can hear that. So she's now putting in a little bit more of that technique, the glissando, the sliding from note to note. It's difficult to place it because of her tone, but there's all of this technique in there just under the surface. Here is my confession May I be your possession Boy, I need your touch My love kisses and such Here we go into the middle eight or the bridge as it's also called when we take this back We can see how over this E4. This is the note that she's singing and we've got this vibrato, which means that we get to see this line ascend and descend because of the way she applies that. But as we go forward, we can see that we are pretty much in and around a little bit flat here with the E4. And I think that because of the vibrato being so wide, this is something that's going to make it even more difficult for you to place the pitch when you hear it because these lines do look like on screen they are a little bit all over the place but that's the vibrato that she adds in let's listen to that again here is my confession yeah ma she goes ma and almost goes up a semitone ma like that with her vibrato may i be your possession there, under your, she's flat, under your, and then vibrato's up to the E4. 
Boy, I need your touch. And here, boy, I need your touch. It's kind of a semitone. Um, she doesn't go all the way down to the D sharp four, apart from here, right before that last E four. But that was all in one expression and really accurate with that wave in her voice going the semitone below. My love kisses and such. And again, look at this, and such. She's just dead on the E4. Oh my, my, I try. And look at that vibrato. Na, ha, going up. And it's great that we can see this on screen so that when I sing it and go, ha, and I go up, hopefully, I mean, if we didn't have it on screen, I think people would struggle to hear that, ha, that raise in pitch at the end, but because we know now visually <laughs> how it's represented, going ah, when it goes up, you get such a deeper appreciation of what's actually happening. But this I can deny. And again, look at that. Deny. And she's actually going sharp of the F sharp four there. So she's going uh, tone higher. And beyond a tone higher, going sharper than the F sharp four. And that kind of throwaway, but I'm dreaming of you, babe. It doesn't matter where that happens. And this is, again, another thing that might throw people off. We've got the harmonies left and right, really accurate, but then the throwaway line down the middle. So people tend to just focus on what they can hear that's just hitting them, you know, between the eyes, rather than listening out to the accuracy of the vocal left and right. Interesting here, when we get this key change, the original vocal stays the octave below, but then Macy down the middle starts now to go the octave above, and it sounds like she's really belting that out, hitting the top of her chest voice register. Yeah, so at the end here, she's just throwing her voice up to wherever it goes. And now very much a talking vocal going on at the end here that we hear down the middle. We've still got the harmonies left and right. Now looking at this from the angle of pitch accuracy and the person saying that Macy Gray seemed like she wasn't very accurate pitch wise, we can now see that she is on this song. She's hitting these notes, but what is going to throw you off is her wide vibrato at the end, sometimes a tone, sometimes slightly higher than a tone in terms of the pitch that we're covering. So you might not be able to place in the middle of that where her pitch is, but when we isolate the vocal, we can hear the harmony vocals that are kicking off left and right. So it is slightly ironic that the song that I have been asked to check out for not being very accurate pitch wise actually is really accurate pitch wise and this really does put the spotlight on how important pitch is when you're singing and nowadays with technology and just to throw in the auto-tune pitch correction argument that as much as people might not want to accept it or believe it, <laughs> that nowadays you don't have to be as accurate pitch wise because there literally is technology that can make you more accurate. It can snap your voice to notes. But when we're talking about taking technology out of the equation, it's still really important to be accurate pitch wise to the point where you want to be hitting notes and then applying your stylizations. You can look at this and think, 
what is going on? Where are the notes? Where are the straight lines? But we'll take it back and we'll now listen to this. Now I may seem all right and smile. And there we have it. Na 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 na. Those were the notes, even though what we're looking at on screen doesn't look like it's accurate in, I mean, we can see the A3 here just being touched and the C4, but if you're just looking at this and you don't know how to read this graph, this will look totally random. When you just listen to it without looking at the graph, you can sing back the notes. So that's always a great example of somebody who is really accurate pitch wise. It's when you're not sure what the melody is, that's where they're a little bit out of key, off key, off pitch, however you want to describe it, when you can't pick out a melody. I mean, the whole point of being a unique artist, being an authentic artist, is just sounding like yourself and making music the way that you do. Macy certainly does that to the point where you know, as soon as you hear her voice, that it's her singing. And that's the whole point of being an authentic artist. And Macy Gray is certainly one of those and a very accurate one pitch wise as well. But anyway, thank you guys for requesting this song for me to take a look at and keep those requests and suggestions coming in the comment section below. As always, let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!